may be starting to think of ways to add extra warmth to your home as the temperatures begin to drop. Western Mass News reporter Kaylee Puglis caught up with a fire safety expert on the do's and don'ts. Cold weather starting to set in and one local fire official has a list of things to remember when using space heaters to heat your home. You want to make sure that you always give space heaters space and keep it at least three feet from anything that can burn. Chicopee Fire Lieutenant Katie Collins Calbaugh tells Western Mass News space heaters aren't meant to be the main source of warmth. So first of all, space heaters are not designed to be the primary heating source for a room but a secondary or supplemental heating source. So you want to make sure you keep your primary heating sources in good working order. She says while they don't get a lot of calls for space heater related fires, it's important for people to understand space heaters can be dangerous and they are not for overnight use. So we want to remind people, you know, you're going to use them only while you're awake and only while you're in the room with the space heater. If you need to leave the room or you're going to go to sleep, you need to turn off and unplug the space heater. And there are certain areas in your home where space heaters shouldn't be kept. Well, you don't want to use them near water, um, so you wouldn't want to use a space heater in a place like the bathroom because they are an electrical object that is plugged in, and so there is that risk with electrical with electrical devices. And in case your space heater were to catch fire, always make sure that you have working smoke and carbon monoxide alarms in your home. You know, working smoke and CO alarms give you the best chance of survival when there is a fire. So we want to make sure people remember to always maintain those devices. One piece of advice she has is if you're buying a new space heater device is to get one that automatically turns off if it tips over. In Chicopee, Kaylee Puglis for Western Mass News.